Remove the two screws from the top cover and then remove the cover. Remove the airbox cover screw and remove the cover and filter. Remove the three bolts from the air filter holder. Remove the holder and disconnect the breather hose from the back side of the holder box. Remove the governor spring from the throttle control making sure not to damage it. Glide the clamp off the fuel line and remove the fuel line. Plug the fuel line with a 5 16 bolt if fuel is in the tank. Remove the two carburetor bolts and slide the carburetor off. Carefully turn the carburetor and disconnect the governor linkage from the throttle. Care must be taken not to break the throttle plate. Remove the float ball bolt and fiber washer. Do not lose the fiber washer. Remove the float bowl. Remove the float pin and remove the float and float valve. Slide the float valve off the float. Remove the rubber float bowl gasket from the carburetor. If a carburetor leaks fuel, it is likely a bad float, valve, and seat, and both must be replaced as a set. Place an air nozzle on the fuel inlet and place a rag under the bottom of the carburetor. Blow the seat out into the rag. Cleaning the carburetor is an important step for good running engine. Once the carburetor is disassembled, use compressed air and carburetor cleaner to ensure passages are clean. Spray carburetor cleaner in the low speed passages and it should come out here and here. Use the air nozzle and blow air through the same passage. Spray cleaner into the main fuel nozzle passage and make sure it comes out here. Spray cleaner into the fuel inlet passage and make sure it comes out here. Spray carburetor cleaner in the center passage of the fixed main fuel jet bowl nut and make sure it comes out the lower two passages. Install the inlet valve seat with the groove facing down. Use a pin punch straight walled with a flat end that is slightly smaller than the seat hole and push down the seat until it bottoms out. Make sure the seat has bottomed out. Install the rubber gasket on the carburetor. Place the float valve in the groove of the float. Install the float. and float pin. There is no float height adjustment.
install the float bowl, fiber washer, and fixed main jet bowl nut. Torque the bolt to 50 inch pounds. Place the fuel intake pipe seal on the intake pipe. While installing the carburetor, turn it so the linkages can be easily placed inside the hole. Then slide the carburetor over the intake pipe and secure with two mounting bolts. Torque bolts to 75 inch pounds. Slide the fuel line onto the carburetor and then slide the hose clamp into position to secure it. Install the governor spring on the throttle control making sure not to damage the spring. Connect the breather hose on the back side of the air cleaner holder. And install the holder assembly. Install the three bolts and tighten down. Install the air cleaner and cover. Install the top cover and tighten down the two screws.